Hey guys, it's Jeff from Pressure Luck, and today I'm going to make a classic Mexican dish. And it's something that I've really wanted to do for a while in the Instant Pot, and I'm finally going to do it because I feel like it's a really good dish for this time of year, or really any time of year. And on top of that, some people have been requesting it. So guys, what are we making? We're making mole. No, not mole, mole. It just spelled the same. It looks like that. And when I first saw it, I was like, what is mole? Chicken mole. Anyway, mole is a sauce that goes over typically chicken, which we're going to cook here, and it's unbelievably delicious mostly due in part because it has a little bit of chocolate in it. Yes, you heard that right, some chocolate. So some people might be like, wait a minute, chocolate and a sauce over chicken? The answer is correct. And you're gonna see how easy it is to make and at the end how absolutely outrageously delicious it is. But don't worry, it's not gonna be like some hot fudge sauce over your chicken. It's gonna be something that's amazingly smooth and phenomenal. So let's go right to the Instant Pot and make some fantastic chicken mole ole. I'm gonna begin with a medium sized Spanish onion and then dice it up into little pieces like this. You can also use a yellow onion too instead if you'd rather. Not that it really makes much of a difference. Now I wanna take between about two to three pounds of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Now if you can't find them boneless, that's fine, you can leave the bone in too. Just use at least two to three pounds of skinless chicken thighs at least. Boneless again is great if you could. If not, just leave the bone in, no big deal. And now just season our thighs with some kosher or regular salt. Doesn't really make a difference. Just season it with some kosher salt or any kind of salt, as well as some black pepper. Get that in there, and then of course flip it over and then do it on the other side as well. Okay, moving on. Now I wanna to go to my Instant Pot and I wanna add in two tablespoons of vegetable oil. So let's come down to our Instant Pot and hit the saute button and adjust so we're on the more or the high setting. And then after about two to three minutes of the oil heating up, let's add our chicken and we wanna just brown it in batches on each side for about a minute, just one minute on each side. And by the way, I am using bone-in thighs, so that's fine with me, but again, you can use boneless if you wish. And then after about a minute on this side, we're gonna flip it over and get the other side. And it's okay if you don't get every little portion of it seared, it's okay, don't worry about it. We're not gonna be fully cooking this now until we pressure cook anyway. Okay, and then remove our chicken thighs, and then place them in a bowl for the time being. And I'm using about eight thighs, by the way, for this. This is my second batch in here. And that's gonna be about three to four pounds worth because when you put the bones in there, they count as weight. So that'll be just fine and good. And when I make the sauce, it's not gonna make any difference because it makes plenty. Um, so it's gonna be fine whether you use two pounds, whether you use four pounds, that'll remain the same. All right, now let's get these out of here and move on to the next step. Now to our sizzling pot where we just seared our chicken, I'm going to add in two tablespoons or a quarter of a stick of salted butter. And then take a spatula of some sort and just mix it around and lightly deglaze, meaning scrape the bottom of the pot from any chicken that might have been cooked onto it. And now that our butter's melted in the pot, let's add in our onions. And stir that around so they're nice and combined with the oil and the butter. And we're gonna let that cook for about three to five minutes in the pot. And as the onions cook, they're gonna release water, so it's gonna be easy to deglaze the rest of the bottom of the pot from any chicken that might be stuck on it. And while the onions are cooking in the pot, just make sure you periodically do scrape the bottom of it and deglaze, because we don't really want much stuck onto the bottom of the pot at this point. And after about two to three minutes of our onions sauteing in the pot, we're gonna add in a tablespoon of crushed German garlic. And then mix that around with the onions. Now I wanna season this up by adding a half a tablespoon of chili powder, a half a tablespoon of cumin, and then mix that up with the onions and our garlic and make sure everything is nice and combined here. I also wanna add in a half a teaspoon of oregano and a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And now stir that up with everything else. If anything sticking to the pot, it's all gonna come up in just a moment, but just wanna make sure that all of our spices are nice and entwined with all of our onions and our garlic. These four spices are very critical because it's really gonna produce that proper mole flavor. Okay, now let's add some liquid to this pot. I'm gonna add in a half a cup of chicken broth. I use a half a teaspoon of better than bouillon chicken and a half a cup of water. And now just mix everything up in the pot very, very simply by deglazing and scraping the bottom and you're gonna get it very, very clear very quickly with that one so we have some liquid in there. Okay, perfect, nice and smooth now. You see that? That's exactly how we want it. I also wanna add in one 10 ounce can of Rotel, which is diced tomatoes and green chilies. And add that in there. As well as an eight ounce can of just regular tomato sauce. I'm gonna add that in. And give everything a nice good stir together in the pot. And now it's time to add our chicken back into the mix. So I'm just gonna place all of it in there. 
All right, and there we have it. And don't worry that all the chicken isn't submerged in the sauce. It's gonna become even more liquidy once it's done cooking from all the juices that also get released from the chicken. So let's secure the lid and make sure we're in sealing position. And now let's hit the cancel or the keep warm cancel button. And we wanna hit the pressure cook or manual button depending on your model. We wanna go on this guys for eight minutes, uh, eight minutes on high pressure and that's it. Eight minutes on high pressure. Time's up, so we're ready to do a quick release. And the pin just dropped, so let's take off our lid. And there's all of our chicken. And you see, there's so much more liquid actually now than when we began. So now what I wanna do is I wanna take some tongs and just remove my chicken and then place it in a serving dish for the time being. Mmm, and this looks delicious. Okay, and now that all of our chicken has been transferred into a serving bowl, we have to turn this into a mole sauce. And the way we do that is by adding some chocolate. Believe it or not, some chocolate goes into a mole. That's what makes it a mole. Now, some people like to add some unsweetened cocoa powder and then balance it off with some sugar. But guys, I like to add to this and make it super easy, a quarter of a cup of semi-sweet morsels, the little mini ones, and just add that into the pot. That's gonna be our chocolate as well as a tablespoon of a natural smooth peanut butter or you know use a clean finger when you get it in there or you can just use regular peanut butter too but I feel like natural is better because it's a little less sweet and then just stir that into the sauce so stir it around in the pot for about a minute or two just make sure everything is nice and blended and then after stirring it around I'm going to add in another quarter of a cup of chocolate shifts so we've added a half a cup total and then stir that into the pot, make sure it gets nice and blended. By the way, I don't have the pot on any more saute function, it's just on the keep warm setting. It'll melt everything very quickly and meld it in. And we are looking good. And now we wanna bring our pot to a little bit of a bubble on saute and add in a cornstarch slurry to just give it a little bit of thickness and that's it. And now let's hit the cancel button again and then hit the saute button again. And we wanna leave it on the more or the high setting and let our sauce bubble up a little bit. And once our pot is starting to bubble like that, it's time to add in our cornstarch slurry. And let's immediately stir that into our pot so our sauce thickens up a bit and let it bubble for about another minute and then we'll turn off our heat and then we're going to have the most amazing consistency mole sauce. Mm. Alright, once we're bubbling like this, we're good and we're going to turn our pot off. And then you see guys, when the coats the back of the spoon, like a wooden spoon like this, nice and good, just like so, this is the perfect consistency. So we are now ready to pour this over our chicken and serve, oh boy. So just before I added the peanut butter and the chocolate and the slurry to my sauce, I, you saw, put my chicken inside of a serving bowl. So now it's time to put that sauce over the chicken. And there we go, we're gonna drape this beautiful, fantastic, rich mole sauce all over our chicken. And the consistency is truly spot on, it's gorgeous. There we go, just like that. I just want everyone to see the beautiful consistency of this sauce, the color, the texture, and I wish you could experience the flavor for yourself through a video, but alas, you're gonna have to try it yourself. But take my word for it, it's insane. And then you could feel free to top it off with some sesame seeds if you'd like to, just by tapping it lightly and putting it on top. And there you go, guys, chicken mole, ready to serve. So let's serve it up. All right, guys, here it is, so let's try it out. And look at that, I don't even really even need a knife. It shreds right off the bone because it's so tender. That's why I love thighs so much. Holy mole. I mean, did you not see that one coming? Come on. This mole sauce is truly incredible. And the reason being because it's not overpowered with chocolate. Yet at the same time, there is certainly a hint of it, but it doesn't taste like some sort of like chocolate sundae sauce on a chicken because that's not appealing, right? It tastes like a wonderfully flavorful, delicious mole sauce. And one of the best parts is because I find this often with moles, there's no bitter aftertaste at all, like none. It's a clean aftertaste and the sauce itself is just rich and full of wonderful flavor. Just, it's hard to describe. Just try it for yourself. And I know it sounds like a weird sauce maybe to some who haven't tried it, but to those who know me, Mexican and no mole sauce, I'm pretty sure you're going to agree that this is a very, very good mole. And the sauce, I can't get enough of it. Look at that. Mmm. It's delicious. Don't worry, I'm not putting this back in the thing and mixing it up. It's almost like a curry, but without any curry in it, if that makes any sense. Because if you don't like curry, you're going to love this sauce. It just has some sort of like a curry consistency to it. You know what I mean? You can even sprinkle some crumbled cotija cheese on there if you'd like, it's great. Or some parmesan if you can't find cotija, they're pretty similar in terms of counterparts. And of course, serve it over some vegetables, some rice, however you want to do it if you'd like. But remember, at the end of the day, it's all about that sauce and how delicious it is on that amazingly tender chicken. Guys, if you enjoyed these recipes, go to PressureLuckCooking.com and check out all my recipes because I have a lot of them, it's like a lot. Each and every one of them has a video and very, very easy to follow steps. Go to Facebook.com slash PressureLuckCooking and like my Facebook page for any time a new recipe comes 
comes out so you're notified. Any new deals on items, any tips, any you know doses of humor that you might need throughout your day, I try to supply those as well. Though not everybody probably finds me funny, but that's okay. Life would be boring if everybody thought the same person was funny. And of course, at Pressure Luck, to definitely subscribe to me on YouTube if you haven't, because it's very informative there. All my videos live there as well. And Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Thanks again, guys. And once again, hole mole. Mm -hmm.